Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, I'm Liliana, and in today's video, it's an adorable a jungle cake. Super popular right now on TikTok, Google, and also Instagram. So I'm gonna show you how I did my own twist on it. And also, um, I, will be not, I will not be showing how to do the animals on this particular video because I did a four part series of them. So I will link everything in this particular video. So like that, you can go ahead and example, click on the lion or the giraffe, kick topper and so forth. So if you guys want to see how I made the beautiful cake, well, keep on watching. Thank you.
So the cake itself is really not complicated. It's a two-tier cake. It was a buttercream cake and the down was a fold line. So basically what you do is um, you do your, you prepare your cakes, you do your crumb coat, you do your second coat, and then you pop it in the freezer for five to 10 minutes. I wanted that really crisp look at the top. So I use acrylic discs. If you don't have acrylic discs, um, because they're quite expensive, but you want to try out the look. You can also use a cake uh, plate and then just put it on top and then do just the same process. If you do do that, um, always use like the, um, there's always like a shiny part on uh, on the, the cake, use that at the bottom. So you would do parchment and then the um, cardboard cake um, plate or you use the um, disc. So by using the cardboard, you will it will kind of give you an idea if you do want to purchase the disc, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. It's worth spending the money because, I mean, the end look, it's so easy, especially if you're a beginner. It's such an easy way to have like the perfect, because when you use the, um, you take your scraper and you go around. So basically your scraper will touch the top of the disc, right? disc is round so your scraper will do all your the job for you with the disc so you go around and it's following the disc so it's just smoothing everything out and you you'll know where you need to add a little bit of buttercream so you just oh there's missing here so you add here and you add there and then you go over again and you it's just perfect every time like i'm telling you so if you do try it let me know and uh, so yeah so that was for that i went overboard but it's it's worth it i i was like because uh -uh, i was using the the cake plates a lot but then every time you're doing a cake especially if you're busy then you're you're using a uh, a cake plate at the same uh, like every time so it's like you're wasting money there too so might as well just purchase the acrylic disc because then you just have to wash it and then you reuse it so you know it's, uh, <laughs> so for the bottom part um so for the bottom you're gonna place the lighter shade first and then you're gonna go all the way around and you're gonna make it uneven you don't want it to be even and you're gonna sc scrape off remove the excess and then pop it in the freezer five minutes just so that it gets a little bit harder before putting the second color and then you put the second color of buttercream again not even scrape it off in the freezer five minutes and then you do the third shade of green super important to do the freezer <clears throat> or the fridge and the reason why is because you don't want the colors to blend in so that's like a perfect trick of the colors not blending in it's just going to be one color one color one color and that's what you want and then to place your second um, cake on top you're going to make sure to uh, place some um, plastic straws in the middle of your cake if you're not comfortable with plastic straws you can use paper uh, straws or also wooden dowels and dowels fine place your cake and then you will see you'll have a little tiny little gap that we don't like and this cake I did not want to put like a little ribbon I want it to be like nice and looking like almost like it's one piece so you're just going to place a little tiny little bead of buttercream and then using your fingers scrape off and then you get that beautiful no seam cake and then i place a cute metallic name at the front of the cake this is uh, a lot of people are asking me where do you buy those where you but i actually make them and then i place a cute little name at the front of the cake um many people are asking me like where do you buy those I actually sell them on Etsy, so you can go ahead and look at that also if ever you're interested um, and then just order and then I do any personalized name that you need or want and I also have other colors that you can choose from, so that's for that. And I also finish that part of the cake on each corner with a little bit of metallic edible foil. I said that it was edible so make sure that whatever product that you're using you have the lab label that it's edible many many foils are not edible so you really really want that label because a lot of them they use it more for 
um, arts and crafts and not for food so just be careful over that because there's really there's two kinds so and then for uh, the leaves I also use this kind of cutter that I really really like and if you guys wanted to use like another cu cutter um, it comes in a packet by the way you could have used this one too but I only want I only went with this one and then for the animals, like I said in the beginning of the video, they actually um, come in other videos that I made and, and it comes in different series. So the first week was um, a giraffe, then it was zebra, um, and then the elephant, and then the last week was lion. So I will link that also for you to, um, if ever you're interested, going to see a particular one you can go ahead and look at that and that's it i love this cake i love 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 this cake it's a perfect cake for a baby shower even like a birthday cake it's just such a clean cake i just love the design so whoever came up with the design again did a fantastic job and i just love 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 the design and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that i put up thanks for watching and see you in the next one